Well, over the past five years, we've seen uh, the, the rise of uh, uh, citizen journalism. We've seen the rise of um, social media, uh, news reports, independent websites. We've seen uh, giant conglomerates uh, try and um, uh, adopt these, these journalists, in many cases, integrate them, in many cases, offering them jobs. Uh, the, the citizen journal the journalists who proved themselves on the ground were then absorbed into these giant conglomerates uh, we have seen uh, we have seen what 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 people have sometimes referred to as uh, the Arab Spring being inspired by or being uh, being allowed to uh, spread through the use of social media so over the last uh, three four years especially social media has uh, grown to a a great d degree here in the Arab world. They, s they say that in 2005 uh, there were 20 million Arabs online. Today that number is easily multiplied by six or seven. There's 120, 130 million Arabs online today. And then the numbers of social media users, and whether it was Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, and other websites, YouTube and Keek as well are very popular here. Uh, has also uh, multiplied uh, exponentially. Definitely the, the consumption of news via, via newspapers has gone down significantly, via physical newspapers. Newspapers are suffering. And only the newspapers that were able to adapt by bringing um, uh, uh, pay, uh, paywalls, uh, these are the ones who might survive. But the newspapers that give out free content, they're just subsidizing uh, these news, the, the, the news for others. Uh, so uh, people have started getting their news from uh, online sources, not just uh, desktops, but increasingly mobile phones. So, um, so now people listen to the radio on the mobile phone, read the news from newspapers on mobile phones, and read citizen journalism, mobile phones, and watch videos on mobile phones. And what about TV? T TV has definitely suffered. I think m from my own opinion, TV, uh, and my own experience, TV has become a very uh, a, 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 a specific tool, a tool to watch certain shows, uh, maybe a tool to watch a long documentary, but people increasingly watch uh, the, the short news reports on mobile and on desktops. So you find them going on uh, BBC or Al Jazeera, and they click on a news item, a report that's three or four minutes long. They can consume it on their mobile phone. But once you go into the medium and longer video reports, and shows, sometimes movies or Hollywood shows, you find them going towards TV. We've had many cases where traditional news organizations relied on uh, citizen journalism and on uh, online social media, and they were proven wrong. In some cases, uh, photos were fabricated. In some, in some cases, people who said they were witnesses to events turned out they weren't even in that city or that country. So newspapers have suffered credibility-wise. The ones that apologized immediately are the ones who have saved themselves a little bit. But, uh, but uh, it just shows you how this is a two-edged sword, that you cannot be 100% sure. Um, usually, um, credibility can be, um, can be judged on um, perhaps uh, uh, you know the, the, the quality and not the number of followers but the quality of followers when you go to if you visit a country like Morocco or you go to a country like Tunisia you see who follow that act who follows that activist who follows that uh, that reporter if it is a, uh, if it's a if it is a bunch of unknown people then you could you could probably uh, assume that the credibility isn't that high but if it is news organizations and news reporters and journalists and maybe sometimes government officials you could uh, be a little bit more certain that this person uh, checks uh, her news before reporting it. Uh, was it Bill Gates that said that uh, there will only be several hundred computers ever in existence a long time ago? So you, it just shows you that you can't predict the future. You cannot predict what will happen. Uh, what, what, you, what you can tell is that uh, this is a snowball effect. It's only going to get bigger and bigger. Uh, people are increasingly uh, incre uh, w wanting to consume news uh, uh, online and uh, on mobile. So you see there is a, uh, there is a, plateau, a plateauing of the desktop market and there is, an, there is a growth of uh, more affordable mobile phones. So, so um, and you have new technologies such as Google Glasses uh, and, and other technologies. So uh, it's, a c it's constantly uh, evolving. So you cannot predict what will happen. Thank you. Thank you, Wyatt. Shukran.